everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Today's video is brought to you by a bunch of great people and I'm going to introduce those people at the end of this video. So please listen for those names. It's important. These are the people who make it possible. Today's expression is very good. It is, you would think, you would think so, you would think that would be, you would think that would happen. We just say, you would think, you would think. So, what does this simple short expression mean? The idea is when we want to agree with somebody, we use this expression. But the situation is, you or the other person expects something to happen, but it doesn't happen. And they say, oh my God, what the heck? For example, there's a light switch and you turn on the light switch, but there's no light. I would say, huh, if I turn up the light switch, I should get a light. I should get light. You would think. And then you would respond, you would think. You would think that would happen. I'll give you another example. I have a big exam tomorrow. It's very important. I need to take this test in order to go to college. It's the college entrance exam. Extremely important. So the house needs to be quiet. I told my mom, I told my dad, I told my brothers, I told my sisters, everybody shut up. I got a big test tomorrow. But my brothers are watching football going crazy. And I say to my mom, Mom, I've got a very important test tomorrow. My brothers should be quiet. And mom says, you would think, you would think. Actually, probably the mom would go kill the boys. But this is the idea. So once again, you agree with the person. Something should have happened, but it didn't. You would think it would happen. I've got one more example. Actually, I have two more examples. Uh, ah, so in America, we love pumpkins. Yeah, that's my pumpkin. I will be carving that pumpkin. I'm going to take that pumpkin and I'm going to cut holes in it and make a face, make it really scary, and then I'm going to put a candle in the pumpkin so that it's really scary looking. I'm doing this for my DDM students and maybe I'll take a picture and share it with you too. Anyway, right now it's October 26th and Halloween is October 31st, five days away. So I bought my pumpkin like four or five days ago. It was cheap, six dollars. It's pretty good price. I, for me it's a good price. Four dollars? No, six dollars. Uh, but right now at the store, the same type of pumpkin, $9. It's going up in price. Why? Because Halloween is getting closer. So the price is going up and up and up and up and up. People need to buy their pumpkins. But on November 1st, how much do you think pumpkins will be? Will they be expensive? No, they're going to be dirt cheap because nobody needs a pumpkin after Halloween, right? But the situation is, you go to the store on November 3rd and you want to buy a pumpkin. I don't know why. You want to buy a pumpkin and they're, they're like $20. So in this situation, you would say, pumpkins are so expensive. After Halloween, they should be cheap. You would think, you would think so. You agree that the price should go down, but it hasn't. This is the idea. It's a great expression, but it takes a perfect situation to use it. Check out the dialogue. And then after that, I've got one more situation. Tim's so smart, but jobless. He should have a job. Huh, you would think. But no, playing video games all day long. <laughs> yeah, and he's so bad, you would think he'd be good. 
Oh, poor Tim. Very smart guy, but no job. You would think he should have a job. I mean, he should have a job. He's a smart guy, but he doesn't have a job. Instead, all day long, he plays video games. All day long, video games. So you would think he'd be good, but he's not good at video games. Poor Tim. Nothing is going well for Tim. Yeah. You would think things would be going well. He's smart, but no. You would think he would be a good video game player. He plays all day long, but no. So I'm going to give you one more situation, and this situation happened a couple days ago. And it, it happens sometimes. So as you know, I have an online business. Let's Master English, and I teach uh, uh, DDM and PERF. These are my classes that students pay for, and I give them classes every week. They're great classes, and we have live classes, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, when it comes to the business side of the business, uh, I'm the one who has access to all of the bank accounts and stuff like that, right? My mom doesn't have access to the bank account. Parmy's just a bear. Max is my web genius. He has access to all the web stuff. Miguel, he takes care of lots of the new students for the sample classes, the, the, the extra classes. But when it comes to welcoming a new PERF member or a new DDM member and sending the classes, I'm the only one that can do that. And especially on a Friday and a Saturday when I have so many hangouts, I've got lots of classes, I get tired. And sometimes I don't check my email. And if I don't check my email, then if you sign up for my class, you don't get the lessons. And you're like, what the hell? Where are the lessons? Come on, come on, come on. So I need to apologize if that has ever happened to you. And I know it has happened to a few students. And I sincerely apologize. I need to grow and yeah, this is the idea. Eventually I'll be able to hire somebody full time to do that job. Yeah, that's the idea. So, this is the idea. Uh, let's say John registers for my class. John goes to PayPal and he pays money and then he waits. I paid my money for Coach Shane's class. He should send me the lessons. You would think. And then the next day, what the hell, Coach Shane? I paid money. Send me my lessons. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, you would think he would send you the lessons. This is the idea. A little bit embarrassing. But it's just me. It's just me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, if you uh, sign up for the classes and if you don't get the lessons, just understand I didn't check my email. And Fridays, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, my busy, busy, busy days. But send me an email, okay? Say, hey, 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 hey. I signed up for classes. Where are they? Send me an email and uh, I will make sure that you get your classes as soon as possible. And I'll be nice and I'll, I'll probably give you a bonus class, like the previous lesson or something like that. So I'm a pretty nice guy. I'm pretty generous when it comes to that stuff. But it happens. I signed up for Shane's classes. I paid the money. He should send me the lessons. Where are the lessons? Huh, you would think. I just spit everywhere. Let's check out that dialogue a couple more times and then my thank yous. Tim's so smart, but jobless. He should have a job. Huh, you would think. But no, playing video games all day long. <laughs> yeah, and he's so bad. You would think he'd be good. Tim's so smart, but jobless. He should have a job. Huh. You would think. But no, playing video games all day long. <laughs> yeah, and he's so bad. You would think he'd be good. Tim's so smart, but
but jobless. He should have a job. Huh, you would think. But no, playing video games all day long. <laughs> yeah, and he's so bad. You would think he'd be good. Yeah, so people go to PayPal, they go to my blog, they go to this website, that website, they, and, and they send some money. They send a dollar a month, or two dollars, or five dollars, or fifty-nine rubles. Yeah, somebody sent me fifty-nine rubles, and I'm like, woo, yeah, fifty-nine rubles. And I checked it out, it's a dollar. That's all I ask for, and I thank you guys so much. You are my investors and you keep this operation alive. If I didn't have you guys, I, I couldn't do this. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of thought. Uh, so I, I need your help, I need your support. So I've got a bunch of new supporters and some older supporters. JP, JP, once again, thank you as always. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, I need to make my screen bigger. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, Kadir. Kadir, thank you so much. Kadir is a new sponsor of the coffee fund. And Kadir, I sincerely appreciate that. Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, I've got Rafael Rendo Pablo. Rafael, thank you very much for your generosity. Um, to Sophia. Sophia, thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate it. To Henry Hurtado Arango. I hope my pronunciation is okay. Henry, thank you very, very much. Henry asked me on Facebook, on, on Facebook, how do I help out? And he did, and I sincerely appreciate that. Also to Olga Alexandra Garcia, thank you so much for your generosity. I sincerely appreciate that. And finally to Anatoly Rivkin, thank you very, very much. Without your guys' support, it would be very difficult. Uh, I, I couldn't be here. I need your support, so I sincerely appreciate it. So this is all you need to do to become a direct sponsor. Just go to PayPal, and you can send a payment to parmiproductions at gmail.com. And it doesn't have to be dollars. It can be uh, your currency. If they have your currency, um, that's really cool. Uh, right now, dollars are Stupidly expensive. I know, it's really tough. My business is not growing as fast as I want. It's not growing quickly at all. <laughs> but the students stay. They love the classes. So please help me out. Join the classes. But anyway, you can send in any currency that they have. Okay, so you do need a, a Visa card or MasterCard, whatever. Log on and, and you can find out. Um, I do have one more sponsor who asked that I not mentioned their name, and uh, so I won't. But thank you so much to everybody who is a direct sponsor. Direct sponsor means directly on PayPal, you send me a dollar, or three dollars, or five dollars, or 59 rubles, woo! I'm teasing, I'm joking, that's so cool. All it takes is a dollar, and it means a lot, and it helps pay the bills, absolutely. So that's it, everybody. Have a fantastic day. Once again, Patreons, I'll mention them in a few days. And thank you. Have a great one.